Alright everybody, so we are doing WWE Elite Series 91, Bianca Belair, who I also like. I think she's a very nice, lovely, beautiful, spectacular lady. So, uh, here's a picture of her. I think this is where she won the Classic Royal Rumble of 2020-21, if I'm somewhere in between. I know it happened around the pandemic. I know. Pretty controversial, it happens. So, uh... It does say Royal Rumble, but it doesn't tell me what year, which I don't like. So, I'm pretty sure I got Hulk Hogan, your boy RVD, Austin Theory, probably Sami Zayn. I'm not sure about Kevin Owens. Maybe on Kevin Owens, I could be wrong. And then, of course, you have my girl, Bianca Belair, who I also like very, very a lot. I think she's very entertaining, and she's very decent, and, you know, she's a lovely lady. That's all I can say about it. That's all I can say for now. And then, of course, you have her name on the side of the box here. All right, everybody. So without further ado, enough talk, enough talk. Let's go ahead and open her up. All right, everybody. Here she is, herself, the EST, the roughest, the toughest, the fastest, the best, Bianca Belair. So she does come with interchangeable hands and she comes with a championship that's kind of about it she doesn't really come with a t-shirt or anything well, i kind of wish she would she would but you know so here's the wwe smackdown women's championship and however we're no longer getting the smackdown and the raw women's championship since they just threw that out the window and they're decided to going with uh the wwe women's world heavyweight championship which is take the big gold title and make it a women's title and then take this title but make this little blue part as you can see touching it with with my finger now um make that gold and call it the wwe women's undisputed championship but they're not calling it the undisputed championship they're still calling it the regular women's championship which i do not like in my honest opinion so i'll have to save that for the next video so in other words stay updated on that on my channel so without further ado let's review this figure so this bianca Belair, she is wearing her like superhero like attire that she wore at the Royal Rumble which is very very nice and it says whip on it no I think it says stay or something it sounds like either stay or whip I could be wrong but um her shades do come off and her her earrings do come off but I do not want to mess with them so I don't want to lose them so ain't worth it so she can split her legs pretty well because it's a WWE Elite figure that's what makes it the best and she has double jointed knees on each leg, one on her light, one on her right leg, and one of her, one on her left leg, right leg to left leg, of course. So it's very, very nice. Um, you get some nice boot rotations here. Um, on each boot, left and the right boot. Um, no ankle pivot, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. But we'll get there soon on our next WWE Elite figures for our women. So we'll get there. Then we get some. Uh, hip swivel right here this goes round and round this goes up this doesn't it doesn't slightly go down and she does have double jointed elbows which makes the figure absolutely stunning just like that and she does come with a little kissy tattoos that she's got on her back and she does come with a little tattoo on her wrist so i'm not sure what it says but it says it says love her tattoo on her or on her wrist has love on it so that's pretty nice and sweet I like that if you look carefully on her shoulder she does have word tattooing but the the plastic i mean you can still see it's still there i mean that's still not that bad not that bad so her head goes 60 degrees just be very careful with her hair i kind of wish they would add wire to it so you can like control like where her hair does so she can whip people with it because you know that's what she really does she whips people with her hair um yeah Let's go ahead and get on with the arms here, so her arms definitely go 60 degrees, uh, arm rotation goes on, gotta hold on to this piece, well you don't really have to, but I'm just holding it so, see, cause I want it to stand still so I can show you how that goes, just like that, so that does pretty well, same thing on this arm as well here, very very nice. She definitely got the whole John Cena thing going on there on both each arm, so that's pretty cool as well. That's painted on, you can't like remove them and stuff. Which I kind of wish you could, but you kind of couldn't. 
So then you get the SmackDown Women's Championship. Let's just put the championship on her because everybody wants to know what it will look like as the great SmackDown Women's Champion that she is. So she's going after the WWE Women's Undisputed Championship. Not just WWE Women's Championship, but Undisputed Women's Championship because it has the word Undisputed on it. If you don't want to use the Undisputed word on the championship, then I say change it and remove it. So this is what it looks like right here. SmackDown Women's Champion right here, Bianca Belair. It looks pretty epic, very nice. That's how you put it on. If you just want to take it off, you just pull it right off. And there you go. You can give this to Bianca. You can give this to Sasha Banks, Charlotte, Becky, Bailey, Alexa Bliss, anybody who, who won this championship and all that good stuff. We're about to get to the end of this video, so let's do this. We got some interchangeable hands going on here. So if you wanted to give her the uh, waving hands, like she's saying hello to somebody or going to uh, slap someone in the face, you get the slapping hand gesture right here hi how's it going and then you can just bend the hand like so bend it like so like that and then you spin it around too all that good stuff and also same thing with this hand as well you can bend down up spin it around spin it around so yeah there you go there you go that's how the interchangeable hands work if you don't want that you just pull it right off switch it with a different hand but i'm going to go back with the open hands and then boom, there you go, just like that. And here is her other figure that I have. I forgot which series this was. I know she was with um, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. I know which series it is, but I can't think of it on the top of my head. This is her NXT uh, NXT gear, and it has a picture of herself with the uh, kissy lips on there. So that's actually pretty nice. And her head sculpt is different, by the way. As you can see, you have this head sculpt on. Yeah, how to have this head sculpt here, the one that she's smiling really big. I mean, I mean, it's kind of, uh, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different, but it still looks like Bianca Belair. She's definitely one of my favorites. She's definitely like my like top two or number one list I like in WWE. She's kind of up there with Sasha Banks because they are like my favorite favorite female wrestlers as the SmackDown Women's Champion and all that good stuff. Including Raw Women's Championship because they won that. But Divas Championship, now that was a separate occasion and uh, they'll talk about it with Sasha Banks because she will not like that. Because she was really not having it with the whole Divas stuff. So that's why they had to change it to Divas to Women. So there you go. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. If you guys like Bianca Belair, tell me your interesting fact or why you like her very much in the comment section below so without further ado guys we'll see you guys later take care peace out see you on the next video